Hi, in this video I would like to show you the Teachable mobile app. First of all, identify if the course you purchased, if it's hosted on Teachable or not. And if it is, you have the ability to download a mobile app only on iPhones. It works on iPhones or iPad, and you are able to watch that course on your mobile devices. So first of all, how to identify if it's uh, hosted on Teachable or not. So here's an example of the course I purchased. It's free to focus by Michael Hyatt. And when you go to log in, you are able to see it here in um, Teachable, you see? SSO teachable.com and, and so forth and you are able to log in in the browser but now I will record my screen on the phone I'm right now on my phone so let's go first to the um, uh, app store store app store and look for teachable teachable and here is the app so let's download so let's open and there's few things I want to show you, so please uh, continue watching. I will enter my password, so I log in. And it, it just small demo, let's go. And it will show me all the courses that I have under Teachable. So this is the nicest thing. If you use one email to buy all of your courses, it will list you all courses so as you can see i have michael hyatt i have email email 10k i have my own courses i have spi media uh, a teachable university and so forth and a few things first of all if you like to uh, watch courses in other speed than one x i typically watch it in <laughs> in two x so you go here play back and do two x or whatever speed you want to do it let's do this one mike hyatt and basically Hold on, it just files for some, some reason. Okay, let's go to my course. Let's say this one. And this is the first lesson. And it will play. One bug that I found so far, I'm not sure if they fix it or I mean, they will might fix it soon when I pause and unpause it will go back to one x speed so it does not continue to x speed so that's why i like almost never pause and another downside of the app you are not able to comment in the browser when you watch courses you are able to comment but in the mobile app you are not able to comment under the videos so you click complete and you go to the next course and so forth so this is how you use it you will see all of your progress uh, you are able to download in case you like on a flight and you don't have internet you are able to download and watch it there and this is the overview of the um, the app in case you have any additional questions let me know under this video and i will be more than glad to answer them